How you clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Friday over here in the Atlantic. The quiet did not last all that long after we had our invest move up and get absorbed into the front off the eastern seaboard. We already have more mischief happening down here and it's showing up now that this pattern in October the Caribbean is warm enough that things are going to continue to try to happen even though we generally start winding down at this time of the season we still have the potential for mischief down here and we can see this we have a little bit of low pressure now east of Nicaragua starting to spin up with most of the convection weighted off on the western side pressures are fairly high in here still but they are starting to fall and we are starting to get a little spin up here and the key thing to notice about this is that it's a lot smaller. Notice the boundaries of the circulation here much tighter and more conglomerated or consolidated rather than most of the systems that we have been trying to wind up in here. They've been generally too broad so far and have not had the time to tighten up but this one may be small enough and surrounded by high enough pressure that it may have a chance to actually go. We also have an interesting area of low pressure out in here that will be propagating west-northwest over the coming days and that may actually be something to watch as well in behind this system. Now the models are starting to jump onto this one and bring it north and this is the European at today six brings a 992 millibar low up into southeast Florida within six to seven days and brings it straight up out of the Caribbean like this and it wasn't developing this before but last night it started latching onto this and has now started to develop it. The GFS has also been lackluster until last night and really started winding this up now in the Caribbean eventually scoots it off to the east northeast like this sharply over Cuba and the Bahamas but this is clearly a fairly potent system in here and fairly tightly wound and uh, this system in here it you can see the little pressure extension off to the southeast that is actually something from in here that came up and tried to get absorbed from the east so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out but here's something to notice this is this the mean sea level pressure anomalies for yesterday and these oranges here represent higher than normal pressures and these purples represent lower than normal pressures notice that we do have low pressure over the eastern United States, but pressures over the eastern Pacific and southwest Caribbean have actually been higher than normal, and most of the low pressure is off in the eastern Atlantic. This is because the MJO is moving on to the east and is progressing away from the Caribbean now, allowing pressures to rise in here. But there is something about this. If we have all this low pressure spread out in a large region, we generally get large areas of low pressure, and there is a very broad area of generally low pressure out here. That's what we had over here last week, and this is again what helped our monsoonal circulation become so broad and initially be so big that it was hard to get it to develop in any kind of a consolidated fashion. There is something to be said for having a small system try to develop in higher pressure where there's air squeezing in on it constantly from multiple directions helping to keep it a tight circulation and right now we do have a lot of low pressure over the eastern United States which is not particularly conducive but if we go out to the GFS ensembles at 72 hours notice that our trough over the east starts to lift out a little bit and now all of a sudden we have a convergent flow diving in from the west northwest into the southeastern United States which means pressures are going to rise in here and if we get pressures to rise in here that means we're going to start surrounding our system with high pressure over here and then we're going to have high pressure remaining over the Pacific because the MJO isn't going to suddenly put in put the gear into reverse. So then we have low pressure sitting in here that's getting air converging from the north and from the west over here. On the left hand side of the lobe of low pressure in the Atlantic, this is a fairly conducive pattern for something to get going based on it being on the tail end of a front. This is something that could actually wind up in here. So this may be something for Central America to keep a close eye on in here and also Cuba and Florida down the road because we can see that our first trough lifts out here. This ridge builds in for a couple of days and by day five the flow is flatter in here. So this may get turned left for a time but then you can see trough number two is already coming down into the plains and by day six we have another deep trough over the eastern United States. Which means, which means if anything is sitting in here, it's going to get drawn northeastward. And again, we may see a threat to this area of the world out of this pattern in the Caribbean. So our season may actually not be over yet despite my indications in the last video that it may be one of the last systems that we saw when we had Invest 95. We now have Invest 96. So, you know, Mother Nature may not be done with us this season. So we'll have to watch this fairly closely over the next week or so. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.